The Earth is, essentially, for all our purposes, a sphere. But maps are flat rectangles. They don't fit well on a sphere. There's no tricky, simple way to do it without losing some data. Here you end up with creases and edges and strange things. What we, what we actually get from this are something we call projections. There are several dozen commonly used projections. The one we use is called UTM, Universe Transverse Mercator, because it's good for land navigation purposes, for short distances. And it's very convenient for us for the reasons that you've gotten used to for all the grids. You end up with every grid line intersecting at 90 degree angles. So it's very easy to do a lot of the plotting. One of the key attributes of this is that every map we work with is inside of what's called a UTM zone. At the zone junctions, you can end up with weird, weirdnesses and inaccuracies, but we don't need to worry about those because the system accounts for it. Here where I live in Kansas, Missouri area, we're in zone 15, as you can see by this little cross-referencing chart, go up 15, S. S doesn't stand for south, it's just S. Above it is T and below it is R. So if you see it by itself, don't be confused by that. It's simply a designation for the area, and it doesn't mean anything unless you have this little decoding chart. As you can see, you end up with a little rectangle with right-angled corners for the way the map is projected, 6 degrees in longitude and 8 degrees in latitude. And every location within that can be is designated by a distance in meters from the lower left-hand corner. Here, this one is 5,178,000 meters from the lower left-hand corner. The numbers are shown on every part of the map on the edges, but they're specifically shown every once in a while, near the corners usually, as here. So that's that distance, over 5 million meters from the north of the lower left-hand corner, and this one is 500,000 exactly meters east of the lower left-hand corner. But those are inconvenient in a couple ways. Though that grid zone is designated, by the way, on the map, so you don't need to use some locator chart. To make it easier, we also have MGRS adds a thing called 100,000 meter grid squares. Those regularize the does allow you to regularize the designation by making the square the grids not rectangular but actually square. This again is this is an example locator chart for most of North America, which gives it again kind of arbitrary letter designations, U, F, U, F, V, just those kind of things. They're also listed at the bottom of the map. In practice, they end up dropping the first one or two digits, depending on which direction you're talking out, off the UTM side of things. And then you end up with this regularized even thing. As you can see, this is all shown on the bottom of the map. That's why you never tear the bottom of the map off. You can just fold it away. You have the grid zone, you have the 100,000 meter grid square, and then you have the details. So when you're talking to somebody further away than usual, further than the next company 10 kilometers away, you are going to start needing to know what, where you are. And so you, a designation you might refer to for guys working on the same map sheet very nearby to you, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, you're going to need to also go uh, where in EH if you're talking to somebody 50 kilometers away or who only knows roughly where you are. And if you're talking to guys running drones in Arizona who may not know where you are at all, you have to add zone 10T. And although they're individual little bits and you know what they are, you run them all together like this as a sing and you read them on the radio or record them in documents as a single element. Most maps are going to have a single 100,000 meter grid zone designation. A few, and this is a good example of it, have two because the map sheets don't correspond directly to grid squares or zones. So this one at the 52,000 line, 5200 line, divides between EH and EG. There's no particular no note on the map about this, you just need to know it exists. And make sure that when you're referring to things, where people don't know that you're on working on the same map sheet, that you use the correct 100,000 meters grid square identification.